Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. Uh, today my post is about intermittent fasting. I've had uh, a few requests uh, to cover this topic and where does that fit within the realm of health and managing uh, health problems. Intermittent fasting is a term that is used now medically where we avoid eating food for a period of time through the day and then consume uh, our meal at the end of that uh, fasting period. Since uh, early 1990s, there have been a number of studies that show the benefit of intermittent fasting. Different areas in the world uh, over many generations have incorporated this as part of their lifestyle. The very fundamental basis of why intermittent, intermittent fasting works is that our body predominantly when we eat uses glucose as a fuel. Glucose as a fuel is efficient and works, but when we think about evolution, when we were hunter-gatherers hundreds of years ago, we never had access to food as we have. We used to have to forage for food, hunt for food, and there would be periods where we would fast. Our bodies then, when we were fasting, were evolutionarily designed to throw the metabolic switch to what we call the ketone switch. So therefore, when we fast, the fat cells that store our fat, uh, which are stored in the form of triglycerides, it becomes fatty acids, and these fatty acids then get into the liver, and they are then uh, uh, ketone bodies are then produced. These ketone bodies then seem to have some benefits in different organs. They make the brain work a little better. They seem to suppress tumor cells. They seem to decrease our tendency to have diabetes or high blood sugar. They seem to decrease inflammation in our body. And that's what I want to show you in my next slide. So what are the benefits? In animal studies where intermittent fasting is used, it increases the lifespan of animals, such as mice and rodents. And how applicable that is to humans, I think, remains to be seen. It improves memory and concentration. And it seems to decrease tumor formation or cancer cell formation in animal studies. In human studies, it seems to decrease the problems that we have with diabetes and pre-diabetes seems to increase memory in people that are prone to losing memory that the pre-dementia type uh, population and it helps improve risk factors for heart disease such as high cholesterol, uh, body fat in the belly area, etc. There are some barriers or practical considerations before we start a regimen of intermittent fasting. Barrier number one is that culturally we are ingrained to eating three meals and snacks. So we have to get over that if we want to consider this. The second barrier that we have is in the initial period of starting intermittent fasting, there can be hunger, there can be decreased concentration and irritability, but this will pass in a few weeks. The third aspect is that most physicians are not trained uh, in medical school uh, because this is a relatively new concept and you will find that this is something that as a field, we have some deficits in, in terms of recommending intermittent fasting. So here's a sample prescription for those of you who want to consider this. First of all, please, if you have any medical problems like diabetes and other issues, consult your physician or healthcare provider before you start. One way to start could be to first limit the number of calories we are consuming per day because to completely fast for a period of time uh, in a day, uh, we have to work up to it. So one can consume, say, a thousand calories per day for a week or two, and then go down to 750 calories for a week or two, and then bring it down to 500 calories. The most popular regimen is what's called a 5-2 fasting, where one works up to two days of intermittent fasting in a week, and then five days of regular meal consumption. But again, it has to be taken into consideration in terms of your own health, in terms of other medical conditions, and your own inspiration or tolerance to put up with the initial hunger pangs, etc. On a separate note, uh, I thought uh, most of my posts here are being followed uh, by uh, adults, uh, but uh, it seems like we have uh, several young uh, uh, individuals who are following this too. This is a post that was shared with me about uh, um, uh, Ellie, uh, who uh, has been very intently following some of our content, so I hope you enjoy this. Hello, welcome back to Coffee with Dr. Ravi. Today, uh, we are 
first going to be making coffee. So you know how to do that. We're just going to skip through that. So. And so, Kevin 19 is going viral on everything. And we are seeing more of the Pacific Pacific sickness, sickness inside the body. And so, so, and so, COVID-19 is not, Earth is kind of slowing, slowing, slow, slowing down. And now, Now, COVID-19 is now pronouncing forever. Actually, not for Probably in a couple of years, though. So, thank you for watching Cafe with Dr. Rebe. Bye. See you next week. I hope to uh, see you again next week. Uh, this is Coffee with Ravi.